Good day, students. You are welcome to LODS lecture series. I'll be taking you through a quick tour on ACT 218, Capital Market and Portfolio Theory. This video is for study session 2, Securities of Investment. Do enjoy me as we go through this video. Introduction Investment is time and energy or matter spent in the hope of future benefit actualized within a specified date or time frame. Investment has a different meaning in finance from that in economics. In finance, investment is buying or creating an asset with the expectation of capital appreciation, dividends, or profits, interest earning, rent, or some combination of these returns. Let's quickly run through the learning outcomes for study session two. After you might have studied this session, you should be able to explain the meaning and definition of investment. You should be able to discuss various investment alternatives that we have. And lastly, you should be able to enumerate different types of stocks. Meaning and definition of investment. From the word investing, investing can be described as the redirection of resources from being consumed today to create benefits in the future. In other words, it is the use of assets to earn income or profit. Although we are no longer in a battery society where goods were often longer or more perishable, it is preferable, if not essential, to invest instead of keeping assets idle so that investment can grow to fight against inaction and future uncertainties. This, get, this give birth to the different types of financial instruments and investment we see today. A financial investment is the current commitment of Naira value for a period of time in order to derive future payments that will compensate the investor for the time the funds are committed. The expected rate of inaction and the uncertainty of the future payment. Investment alternatives. Every investment is a balancing of objectives and purposes. A very safe investment may not pro provide protection against inflation. Inflation, as you already know, is a persistent increase in the, in, in the general price level of goods and services. An inflation-resistant investment may not provide liquidity. And there is still an ongoing debate over the risk return trade-off. It has been widely assumed that the higher the risk undertaking an investment, the more ample the return, and conversely, the lower the risk, the more modest the results. But recent research has shown that this is often not the case. Different investment media fit different investment objectives, but the fit is seldom perfect. The average investor seeks a safe, inflation-resistant investment which provide a good return with capital gains opportunities but we can be liquidated quickly if necessary. Common stock and inflation. To most individuals, investment means buying common stock. The reason being that the bull market in the year 1980 provided substantial capital gains for many of those who are involved in the market. In fact, over a long period of time, a study conducted by the Center of Research in Security Prices of the University of Chicago found that anyone who had invested in common stock broadly from 1980 on and had had through 1987 would have realized an average annual rate of return compounded annually. Type of stock There is a diversity in common stock which extends not only to industry and to company but to type of stock as well. In the loose and flexible language of the street, it's a com customary to speak of blue chip stocks, of growth stocks, cyclical stocks, income stocks, defensive stock, and speculative stock. Line of demarcation between the types are not precise and clear, but investors have a general notion of what is meant by each of these precise categories. Types of stocks. Under the blue chip stocks, 
Blue chip stocks are high grade investment quality issues of major companies which have long and unbroken records of earning and dividend payments. Stocks such as American Telephone and Telegraph, Lever Brothers in Nigeria are generally considered to be blue chips. The term is used to describe the common stock of large, well established, stable, and mature companies of great financial strength. Secondly, we have growth stocks. Many of the blue chips may also be considered growth stocks. A growth stock is the stock of a company whose sales and earnings are expanding faster than the general economy and faster than the average of the industry. The company is usually aggressive, research minded, paying dividends but plowing back enough earnings to facilitate expansion. Then we have the income stock. Some people, particularly the elderly and retired, buy stocks for current income, while in recent years, stocks have yielded less on the average on current dividend than bonds or the return on saving accounts. There are also some stocks which may be classified as income stocks because they pay a higher than average return. Income stocks are those that yield generous current returns. Then we have the defensive stocks. At the opposite pole from cyclical stocks are the so-called defensive stocks. Defensive stocks are shares of a company which is likely to do better than average. From earnings and dividend point of view, in a period of deteriorating business cycle, if a recession is anticipated, a growing interest tends to develop in certain recession-resistant companies, while such stocks lack the glamour of the falling market leaders. They are characterized by a degree of stability desirable when the company faces a period of uncertainty and decline. Utility stocks are generally regarded as defensive since they are slow, that is 5, 5 to 7%, but steady growth rate tends to hold up in the recession years as well as in the boom years. They are, however, very sensitive to interest rate changes. They fall in price if interest rates rise sharply. And on the other hand, they increase in price if interest rate declines. Then lastly, we have speculative stock. Spe speculation can be defined as a transaction or business that leaves its profits to chance and luck. That is a conjectural transaction with no certainty of profit. In this sense, it means that all common stock investments are speculative business. When you buy shares, you have no promise, no certainty that the funds you will receive ultimately where you sell the stock will be more, less, or the same as the dollar or naira you originally paid. We have come to the end of this study sessions. Hope to see you next class for study session 3 where we'll be discussing investment returns. Thank you for listening.